So you'll have met the equation of a circle uh, in Cartesian form. Uh, so centered at the origin, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, right? So if our radius is r, so let's draw a bit on here. So let's draw a radius. There we are. That's r. Then the equation of this circle would be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Okay? So we should have seen that before. Now, how can we relate that back to the Argan diagram? So what if this was the real axis and this was the imaginary axis? Okay? Then each point that is on the outside of that circle, on its circumference, if we uh, drop a perpendicular down there, okay, will have coordinate of x and y. Okay? So if we think about this as each point on this circle will have a coordinate of z is equal to x plus i y. Okay? Then it is x along on the real axis and y along on the imaginary axis. Okay? So this is nothing new. But we understand that we have a way of writing down what the length of a complex number is, and that's its modulus. So we know that the modulus of z is equal to modulus of x plus iy, which will be x squared plus y squared square rooted. Okay, that is the length of your complex number. Now that, on our diagram, the length of the complex number is r. Okay, so hence, if you're saying that mod z is equal to r, then what you've got here is precisely what you have here. If you square both sides, then you get to your x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared which is your equation of the circle. So, mod z equals r describes a circle centred at the origin of radius r. OK? So, on the Argand diagram, this describes a circle. Now, if you're going to reposition the circle so it's centred elsewhere, that it's not on the origin, then you would use some kind of transformation, wouldn't you? Okay. So we know that a circle centred at AB, for example, would have the equation x take away a squared plus y take away b squared equals r squared. So this is a circle centred at AB with radius R. Okay, so how can we uh, put that into complex form? Okay, well, what you've got here is that if, you're, um, if you've now got x take away A and y take away B for your complex number, so let's say we've got Z is now x take away a plus i y take away b, okay, um, then you can split that up into x take away a plus i y take away i b, and then you've got your x plus i y take away a plus i b right so let's let's call this z2 rather than uh, our z so our new z is equal to the old one the x plus i y take away this one here let's call that w okay so now you can say, right, well, actually, um, if I want it centred at AB, 
or if I want it centered at this complex number here, w, then I could just replace the z in here with z take away w. So z take away w equals r is a circle centered at uh, w, uh, which can be equal to your a plus ib of radius r. OK? Because if you're not convinced by that, Think of it this way. So z we know is x plus i y. And the w is our a plus i b. So take away a, take away i b equals r. So grouping the real parts together and the imaginary parts together, then the length of this complex number will be x take away a squared plus y take away b squared square rooted and then you square both sides. Okay? And you get to the circle equation that we had before. So these are your new forms for circles uh, in the R GAND diagram, okay, the, they trace out the loci of a circle. And so that's what you need to be able to spot um, in these types of questions. And we're going to go through some examples of these in the next video.